Hello again, this is Dr. Jenkins from Lighthouse in Kelowna. I'm back for our third installment in our practical teaching series. We're focused on the, some of the things that you'll need to think about after graduation. This video will cover a lot of territory today. My goal with our videos is to give you some talking points with your classmates and your instructors before you have the pressure of making these kind of decisions after graduation. It's also good to realize that what works at Lighthouse is a reflection of our culture and our team. Our processes and procedures in our office may not work in another office, another city, another province. I encourage you to take time in your week to get out and speak with RMTs who are actually in private practice. You'll learn a lot over a cup of coffee or a cup of tea with them and many professionals are happy to share what they've learned over their first couple of years in practice. I had the privilege of working for a chiropractor during my third and fourth year in chiropractic school. And he encouraged me to get out and talk to as many docs as possible before I graduated. I really took that challenge seriously and by the time I finished up my schooling, I had visited over 40 different chiropractic offices, interviewed dozens of docs, their front desk assistants, and any associates that would sit down and talk with me. That was a huge benefit when I set up my own practice, and I'm sure that some of the wisdom that I still implement today is because of those early discussions before graduation. In fact, I still make a point of dropping in on offices that I hear good things about. I ask them two specific questions. What are you doing that's working, and what lately have you tried that didn't work the way you hoped? This video will highlight some of the procedures we have put in play to ensure our team and our associates are constantly talking to one another. You'll hear me say over and over again that just because a clinic has the term integrated or integrative in their title doesn't mean that that team is working together on behalf of their patients. They could be just as siloed as the office down the street. Okay, back to our topic of the day. I believe that a great healthcare team starts with a great front end staff. For Lighthouse to be successful, we need a solid office manager and a great admin team, and we are blessed with one of the best. So when you're checking out clinics, take the time to talk to the front desk team, because they are the ones that will really help you build your practice, not the other RMTs or the docs in the office. You need to be confident in your admin team, and your admin team needs to be confident in you. The other core to our success is that everyone on the team is encouraged to think like an owner. No matter how a patient finds us, they are everyone's patient. I may never serve them in my professional capacity, but when they're at Lighthouse, they are my patient too. Our admin team owns every patient experience. Each associate owns every patient interaction. That can be as simple as saying hi to a patient who's waiting in the front or asking if there's anything we can do for them. They might be offering them a bottle of water, grabbing a Kleenex, Simple things, kind things, that show them we've got ownership. Each patient that walks through our doors is part of everyone's practice. Another piece of our puzzle is the organizational structure at Lighthouse. It's horizontal, not a pyramid. So that means if you see something that needs to be done and you've got the space in your day to do it, then jump in, roll up your sleeves, and get it done. No one's above picking up the phone emptying out the trash cans, or straightening up the treatment room between sessions. It may seem like a really small thing, but some days I'm taking out the garbage so my admin team can close up early after an especially busy shift. Believe it or not, some people think it's below them to do these kinds of things, but it's part of our DNA. That's our culture. And if someone joins the team and has a problem helping out everyone on the team, then they don't tend to stick around too long. As frustrating as that can be to lose a teammate, I'm more focused on getting the right people on the bus than filling up treatment rooms with the wrong kind of people. That's our culture, and we talk about that day in and day out. And we celebrate that. When I see someone going out of their way to help a teammate, we celebrate that. And you get more of what you celebrate. A more practical and methodical procedure are our weekly meetings. They're blocked out and actually in our schedule. In those meetings, we're discussing office initiatives, marketing processes, and patient concerns. 
We also hold weekly team training for our admin and support staff. That way, everyone's cross-trained on our standard operating procedures. We want our entire front office team to be able to not only book or reschedule an appointment with confidence, we want them to be able to operate the POS machine and just generally be able to step in when someone is occupied. Once monthly, we have an all-team meeting. That's where everyone in the office, that's associates, managers, directors, support staff, everyone is physically at a meeting or on Skype so we can keep the vision clear, keep our goals in front of us and ensure everyone is weighing in on what's going on. We do a lot of outreach. So with how often we are in the community, we need everyone at those all team meetings so that they can promote Lighthouse and their personal practice inside Lighthouse. By having these activities in our regular schedule, more spontaneous communication happens on a day-to-day -day basis. We've set the standard with our schedule and then it produces better communication throughout the weeks and months. Yes, it is time away from looking after patients, but that time is rewarded several times over with referrals, outreach opportunities, and new relationships. For example, I may get invited to do a wellness at work talk for a local company, but I'm certainly not gonna go alone. I'll bring one of my admin and an RMT to interject throughout the presentation. Someone in that room may not be thinking chiropractic, but they might be looking for an RMT or a naturopath. Either way, it's a new relationship with Lighthouse and we're serving more people. We're definitely stronger together. When we're on the same mission, we have the same values, and in our mind, it doesn't matter how someone gets to like us, they're here. And once they're here, we, we can begin to envelop them with our culture and help them reach their health goals. And that certainly means accessing the other health disciplines we have in the office. All team members can take part in as many meetings as they want. The only non-negotiable is our all team monthly. If we don't at least have that, then over time we start to drift apart and we start losing touch and we don't want that. Our goal at Lightgives is to create something that is really bigger than each practitioner. We don't always get it right, but as we continue to work together, we're getting better each year. Our vision is to be so effective in our work as an integrated team that we really are emptying of the hospitals and empowering incredible life change in our community. That may seem a bit over the top, but I believe you get what you aim at. So you might as well aim high. If all you do is show up shooting for a full schedule, that may get old pretty fast. When you're looking to make a dent in the universe, like the founders at Apple, you're more likely to succeed and have a boatload of fun on the way through. So that's it. It's our third video in our series. I hope some of these concepts will generate some lively debate and some practical action steps for you as you move towards graduation. And if you want to reach out, feel free. I've told Robin that I would respond to any questions you've got. Uh, she's got my email address and phone number if you need it. I don't know if I'll have any more answers for you, but I'll try my best to share what I've learned so you can avoid some of the mistakes that I've made. Good luck with your studies, and we'll talk to you soon.